Yeah. One of the things that didn't come out that's in the book, um, which I found absolutely fascinating, and I didn't catch it the, when I read the book, I didn't catch it the first time I listened to the audio, I caught it on the second time I listened to the audio, and this totally freaking blew my mind. Um, and so I'm going to kind of paraphrase, and I might have some of the information not 100% right, so read the book yourself, and you'll learn, or listen to it, and you'll learn, uh, but here's the deal. Dr. Sinclair back in 1997, so is that 26 years ago, something like that, 1999 maybe, somewhere in there, it was around 24 years ago, is when he first said, he came up with the hypothesis that aging is a disease, right? In 2018, the World Health Organization recognized that statement. But for since 1997 or 99, Dr. Sinclair has been on this quest to prove that aging is a disease and how we can eliminate it or prevent well, not eliminate, but yeah. well, yeah, to treat it, if you will. Mm -hmm. So one of the things he goes through, and this is maybe a little bit more information you want, but this is why I would say don't put an age to it. I, and this, this is the reason why. When your cells replicate, there's bits of information. What they knew about was digital information. In the, re in the repetition of the, the cell. So the digital information, think about a CD, you can play that CD over and over and over and over and over and over and over again with very little wear to it. So these cells can replicate over and over and over again without loss of information. But what Dr. Sinclair discovered, he was the guy that discovered this, mm -hmm. is that there's not just digital information, there's also an analog component. And this is what led to epigenetics, which Dr. Z was talking towards. In epigenetics, it's the analog information. Now, as these cells duplicate, think about a record. If you, you know, most of us are old enough to remember a record player. If you ever had a favorite song and you played that, rec that song over and over and over again on the record player, it slowly lost its audio quality. Why? Because it's shredding that information as the needle's going over the groove in the record. And the next time you play it, it's not the same as it was the time before, unlike a CD, which is digital information. So this, this discovery that when cells replicate, there's the digital and an analog component to this. It's the analog, it's the loss of information from the analog duplicating over time that leads to primarily to the aging. You no longer have the same makeup in your body because this information is being lost mm -hmm. what ageless is going to do is repair the analog information it actually can bring back that lost information from the analog it's going to completely hold on to the dna or the uh the, the digital component so you're no longer going to lose any of that and it can actually restore the analog component. So why not start at five years old, 10 years old, so that you're, when your cells are replicating, they're re replicating with all the information, slowing down the disease, aging disease process. Hopefully that makes sense. That would be my answer. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed how you actually were able to explain that. 